Hello everyone and welcome back to our fire team series. In the previous episode we started work on joining a game from the main menu via the found sessions uh, table. In this episode we're going to tie on some loose ends and fix some bugs in getting our scoreboards working, some gameplay actually working as well and that we can see scores being added to each other's scoreboard. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is setting up the fixing the control movement. Okay, so the way uh, that is working at the moment is that currently we're in input mode only for UI. So when we transfer into the game, we need to make sure it is switching over to game UI in order to receive our inputs. So easily done. We just go into our, uh, our game player controller here, and we're going to go to its begin play. And in here, we're going to set up the input mode. So set input mode to game only. Player controller will be self. Okay. Now the first, next thing we're going to do is make it the main menu one. When we've made it UI only, we make it so it can show the mouse cursor and allows us to work with the mouse easier. So let's go find that setup. And it'll be in here. Lobby controller. And on begin play going do set input mode to UI only by controller self and we're making sure that this controller here is using set show mouse cursor and we do that by going to class defaults and ticking on show mouse cursor okay so now if we were to test this in our game now we'll hit play Get our two instances of game running. Oh. One and there's two. Okay, so we've got host match going on over here. Launch and over here and go find match. Ignore the uh, VFX, <laughs> that's a, a little tester. Placing it with a better one, obviously. <laughs> uh, going to here, now we can see I can control my other character here too. Now, problem at the moment though, is you can see the UI hasn't updated to reflect the new players joined on the client side. You don't see them, anything like that. Um, and likewise, nothing on their other side too. So we need to tell our update our, U, our scoreboard UI to here to update reflect the changes going on here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to delete that VFX between this cut. Okay, so we're going to find our UI that we're using for our scoreboard. UI, game UI, and our player scoreboard is here. Okay, there it is. And we go to our graph for this. Now, the way this works is if we go to the event graph, we're looking at the scoreboard coming from update scoreboards. Now this gets called by coming from our online game state. So we have to go to online game state to tell it to update scoreboards via there because that's where we're actually setting these things. So if we go to our uh, game state, so hopefully you understand how this works. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be calling this add player point with the new player ID and a score of zero. And that's effectively going to add a new player to our list. So that's going to happen on the game mode when they get added to our game. So go to game mode, online game mode. And in here, you're going to do on post login. Player joined in this. And here you've got the binding here happening for the new player joining. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do switch has authority. We only want the server to do this. And we're just going to call the add player point to this one. Add player point. Authority. And so the player ID is going to come from our new player state here. So drag out from the player state. I guess you go from there or there, doesn't really matter. And in here we get player ID. And I'm going to plug that into our player ID pin, leaving that score at zero. Okay, so that's effectively adding a new character to our 
I uh, see now. Now we want to also make sure our add player point is replicated. So double click on this, not add player point here. We're going to tell it to replicate all using the multicast. And we'll make it reliable as well because it's kind of important. Well, well that is happening. And as we're doing it for there, we'll do it also for team point as well. Here. And finally, we need to go up to new player joined and make this also replicated to so here. And we're going to make this replicate all and make it reliable. And now the last thing I think we should actually do is fix a bug that exists on our controller. My bad, my apologies. Just go to the player scoreboard widget, which is this one. Go to its graph and you want to go to the event we made or function we made called get ordered scoreboard. In there, we'll turn on else swap occurred to be true. That way, it'll actually finish the true here and handle the rest of the work you need to do. So, we hit save and compile there. So, there are a couple of bugs we need to fix for this to all work. Uh, these were discovered in between episodes um, just for to complete emissions that I need to go in and fix. So let's go into, first of all, fixing the game mode to use the right game state. So we're going to deathmatch. Um, so we want to make sure that deathmatch game mode is set down here on game state to use a deathmatch game state. That's important because the game state is what's telling us when we should get points. Um, in this point, in this case, it's the death of a character. And we also want to make it so that gain score on an online player state class we'll make sure gain score is set to replicate here um, on multicast and we'll make reliable as well because it's kind of important okay so you need those two bugs majorly fixed first and then on the gain score here we're going to change this to replicate on the server only okay and that should do just fine uh, next thing we'll do is take the on killed event dispatcher and we'll make that replicated Make sure that's set to replicated there. And just clean that up a little bit. Do that, hit compile and save. Another bug is inside of our deathmatch game state. In here we used the wrong or I used wrong uh, event here. Instead of using the RPC kill announce, we just want to use the normal announcement kill. So announce kill event. And similarly here we're gonna do a add called parent function to get the killer and the victim and then we're going to do gain score from our player here so we need to take this out fast to online player states and then it's the gain score which we got up here just take down here instead I can delete this bit now so you should have it in the deathmatch game state override the announcement kill because once they've kill, got in the kill announcement we're going to give them one uh, score as well so there yeah. and last but not least we're going to go into our scoreboard and we're going to add a little delay on its begin on its construct sorry um and you put a little delay of one second after we've done the bind event score updated and the in its cards it just gives it enough time to get that data all cached up when it enters the game and then we can display it properly on our boards so now when we push play we should be able to make a match launch game and then on my other window and we can find match yeah, put it over here and try to find match and it should come up over here in a second there it is click on that Okay, so now we can see uh, both scoreboards are showing correctly. And if I was to kill the character, we can see the scoreboard update for my character there. And if I switch over to this one over here, we'll plug this one in, and their one's updating too. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. And there we go. We've got the basic scoring system set up, ready for us to move on. Okay, and there we have it. We've now got our game set up. We can now start from the main menu, get into a match, 
and kill out each other e each other's players quite easily. So in the next episode, we're going to go through the process of making the end game screen and selecting when the match is finished. This will lead into our making our various game modes, starting off with the death match. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where all my videos are available early from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. And remember, if you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, everyone. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. I came here to prove it. I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop this time like the last time. You better get